Hello, my name is Balint Sieber and I'm the Director of Vulnerability Research at Bastille. I'd like to show you how a mousejack attack works. In this scenario, we have some co-workers that are on a coffee break and one of those employees is normally working on this computer here or a laptop and they use a wireless, non-Bluetooth uh, mouse with a USB dongle plugged in to receive the transmissions from the mouse. So ordinarily, as you would be using such a mouse, it will transmit using RF the cursor information to the screen and so as you move the mouse, the computer knows to move the cursor appropriately. In this scenario, we have an attacker that is scanning for vulnerable mouse jackable devices with this uh, radio and dongle plugged into their own computer. They will pick up the presence of this vulnerable dongle and then as the employee is actually looking away from the screen in this case and the screen is not locked, they, as the attacker, will send keystrokes very, very quickly in an automated fashion to download that onto this computer and therefore installing their malware, opening a back door. They can then exfiltrate anything they like from that machine back up to the cloud, so sensitive documents and information, and the attacker can then retrieve them separately and look at that uh, sensitive information and use it to perhaps launch another compromise on the, uh, of the larger network. So to protect yourself, um, for certain brands you can actually upgrade the firmware on the dongle on these devices to make it ignore these keystrokes if it's only supposed to be operating as a mouse. Some vendors it's not actually possible to update and so for them we recommend either switching to another vendor or using Bluetooth peripherals that have a higher level of security. And if you'd like to learn more, please visit our website